Today's demonstration is going to be how to make a coupon using Microsoft Word. Um, I am going to be using um, a table or a text box, and I am going to load in these graphics that I have already downloaded. And then I'm also going to put in a free barcode. Now, um, a couple of things up front. I'm not going to waste your time watching, uh, have you waste your time watching me type a whole bunch of small print. So be aware that there's going to have to be more of that than you're going to see me do today. Um, first things first, I'm going to make my pictures um, have tight wrapping so that um, I can put them elsewhere on the page while I'm working on my actual coupon because they're just going to go on there later. Um, I'm also going to make them a little bit smaller just so I can get them out of the way. And then I'm going to go ahead and insert a one by one table up here at the top of my document. And now tables are really nice because they come with shading and a line border. So I can make that line border look however I want and I can make that line border be any color I want as well as the background color. Um, so I'm going to go ahead and choose a dashed line and I'm going to make it nice and dark and that's how you make it look like a coupon. Um, that's all outside. There we go. Um, and now I want the shading to be a color that is appropriate for my company, so I'm going to choose a light blue. Um, and I think that'll also look nice with the graphics that I've chosen here. Um, and I always start off just by pressing enter a few extra times if I'm using a table and not a text box, just to give me more room to work. Um, but that is by no means necessary. Um, I don't have to do that. Now I'm going to type in this first row, and um, this first part of the table is just going to talk about the deal itself. Um, and I want to choose a more interesting font than my default, um, even if it's not too much more interesting. And although up until this point in this class, if you use a lot of exclamation points, I'd probably be upset. Um, here it's appropriate and it's fine. Um, I think it's expected to a certain extent that you're going to be um, excitable and so on about your deal here. So um, let's make our table just a little bit wider so it all fits. Okay, very good. And now on our next line, we can go into more detail on the deal. Um, so between now and December 10th, And so I'm actually making this very similar to the deals that um, restaurants offer on the holidays. If you buy a gift card for someone else, you get a certain amount back free. So here, if you sign up for your for, for yourself um, or for someone else, um, then you'll still get one free. Uh, but it has to be for yourself. So the um, fine print is probably going to mention that. Um, now, if I expand my table a bit. We're going to take our horse, um, and it's actually a celestial steed. Um, I'm going to make him transparent, and then I'm going to put him in front of text so I can move him over my box. Um, one reason I chose this is it's going to do this really cool looking um, sort of half visible thing that I kind of like. Uh, I'll put him over here. And then um, I also chose Skylanders because it's kind of one of the hot games um, for this particular season. Um, for kids, the parents might want to learn how to play better before they give it to their children. And I'm also going to put this in front of text. There we go. And once again, I'm going to make my table a little bit bigger so it all can fit. And then I'm going to balance out these images more. Um, so this is 2.08. That one's 1.22. Make it a solid 2. Which actually makes it look a little bit bigger. 
that'll do. Um, and I kind of want him facing the other direction, so I'm going to flip him. Okay, now my special seed's in place. And now I need to go grab and make my um, barcode, which I'm going to do over in my barcode trainer. Uh, free barcode maker. So I'm going to give it some barcode data, which can be whatever I want it to be at this point. Um, I have to check a symbol, a symbol that I want it to be in. Um, most of them work. Some of them are pretty strange. And I'm going to generate it. Fabulous. And I'm just going to copy and paste that barcode directly into Word. Probably down here so it doesn't mess up anything I've already done. Um, as you see, they usually come in fairly large, so I'm going to have to make it small. And then I'm going to have to change its text wrapping as well. Um, and fit it into my coupon. Uh, maybe make Spyro a little bit smaller. Put the barcode up here put my sparkle pony over here um, and then I would want to put my cursor down here and start typing in some of my small text. Um, and when I say small text you really do want to make it small um, so 8 or 9 would be appropriate um, so expires 2011 void where prohibited um, not valid with any other offer So on. And so at this point, you have to really fill in that space with a lot more um, appropriate things that could potentially be going in there. Um, for the sake of making this a shorter, easier to download video, I'm not going to do that. Um, so this needs to be the second page of your sales 